Hey everybody, Happy New Year 2021. It's gonna be a good one, I'm telling you. So last year, towards the end of the year, we found that we mostly got the brakes and the suspension sorted out on the Model 3. And really the main complaint we were hearing was, I can't do more than three laps uh, without overheating. So that really became a priority for us. Uh, you may have seen later last year, we released the rear oil cooler. Um, but that doesn't mean we've stopped at all. There's still a lot to be done before we can uh, attain our goal of doing a full lap of the ring with no power reduction, no overheating at all. Um, so we're going to show you guys what we've been working on this winter and I'm going to send it over to Sasha for some details. Hey guys, Happy New Year. Uh, so one of the cool things about the Performance Model 3, as you know, is that you have track mode. And one of the things that track mode does is it runs the car in the maximum cooling state that it can. So it maxes out the air conditioning compressor, it maxes out the water pumps, it does everything that it can to cool down the system. Now if you don't have a Performance Model 3, uh, you, don't, you don't get that. There are some improvements that Tesla's made to the cooling, but you don't get that level that you get with track mode on those cars. So we wanted to give that to you guys that have, you know, long range or standard uh, range rear wheel drive cars. So this is our cooling party controller. And what it basically does is it allows the car to do, to do the same as the track mode. So it runs a AC compressor at full bore, runs the water pumps at full bore, it opens the cooling fins. And um, it's pretty useful because a lot of times we'd be at the track, even when we're charging between sessions and the louvers are closed, we can't even cool the car between sessions. So um, there's two aspects that you need to understand when you're trying to get these cars to run for a long time on the track. Number one is slowing down the rate that they heat up when you're on the track. And number two is preconditioning them for the next session. And that's somewhere where this box might even be of interest to you guys if you have a Performance Model 3. So we're going to drive to a supercharger. Uh, we'll show you a little bit about the functionality here now, but then we'll drive to a supercharger as well and show you um, what this bad boy can do that track mode can't. Okay, so let's show you a little bit more about this module and how it works. Um, so we've got, uh, when the cooling box is on, we have it displayed on our C125, and we're also connected to the C125 here on our laptop, uh, and you'll be able to see this on your screen of the, uh, the parameters that are affected when we turn on the cooling party box. So the way it works is we have it right now set up that when you put the car into the creep mode, because no one actually uses creep, that it will activate the system. And you'll see the powertrain flow, the uh, battery flow, the AC compressor, and the front louvers will all kind of go into uh, their optimal state. So the maximum flow for the pumps, the AC compressor will ramp up, and the louvers will open. So here we go in creep mode. We've got a blue fan as well that shows up on the dash. And you can see here now the pumps go up to 22 liters per minute. The louvers open up all the way and the AC compressor starts winding up. You hear it gets pretty loud, like all these systems are really just waking up and doing whatever they can to pump that heat out uh, of, this, of the car. So here the AC compressor is coming up, it's now at 3000 RPM. And it'll keep climbing to about 5000 RPM if I remember right. Uh, which is almost on par with what you get. You don't get the AC overclock that you do with track mode but you get uh, everything other than that when the battery is hot. So if the battery is not hot enough, which it may not be in this case, we might not see the AC compressor go all the way. And it does usually take a minute or two for it to get to its maximum target. Um, so <clears throat> the reason that this is pretty cool is if you're at a supercharger, when you're at a supercharger, the car uses the motors to heat the oil and gets the oil really hot. And then it heats up the stator. The, the oil gets hot. It heats up the battery, so everything, the whole system gets heat soaked. So even if you've got a 15 minute drive to the track, that system is not going to cool down. Uh, and when you, even if you want to use track mode on the way back to the track, you're going to lose a fair bit of battery charge, um, you know, doing that. So this allows you, this, this box allows you to pre-cool while you're supercharging.
All right, so we're at the supercharger now. We've been preheating the battery as much as we can on the drive down here. It's uh, zero degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit for you guys, so it's a little bit challenging. But we have the battery at 35 degrees Celsius. And so we're gonna start supercharging and you'll see that the battery temperature will go up to about 40 degrees Celsius or so, I would imagine. And then normally you'd have a hot oil, hot stator, drive units, a hot battery, and then only after you finish supercharging would you be able to cool on your way back to the track. So we'll show you how our cooling party box module uh, is able to bring that down uh, with the energy from the supercharger so you can leave it with a full battery and drive efficiently to the track and be ready to go with a fully cooled down car. Okay, so we got Jesse here now and we're uh, up at 80% and the battery's at 52 degrees Celsius, which is as hot as the battery's allowed to get. Um, so even on the racetrack, you'll never see it go above that, and if you do, it'll be significantly limiting power. Um, so what this means is while it's charging, it's still running the motor, current through the motors, to heat the battery as much as it can to maximize the charging speed. So normally, if we were to unplug the charging right now and head back to the racetrack, the battery and all the motors would be fully heat soaked. The oil, the stators, uh, the battery water, the powertrain water, uh, the battery core itself, everything would be at its maximum almost temperature. Um, so even with track mode driving for 15 minutes, you know, it takes a while for this to, to come back down because there's a lot of a lot of thermal mass there. You know, you've got the, the, all the water, you've got the mass of the battery, so there's a lot to get out of the system. So right now what we can do is we can turn on our um, cooling party controller and we'll start pulling that down. So it'll probably take 15 minutes or so, but at least we're doing that with supercharger um, energy and not with the battery's energy. So we just go here, turn this thing on. And now you can see cooling party is turned on, the water pumps come to full speed, the louvers open up, the compressor starts winding up. Uh, the compressor now is <coughs> over 6,000 RPM, now 7,000 yes. RPM, 8,000. So, pretty much the system's doing whatever it can right now to, uh, to cool the car down. Uh, and you'll see, I don't know, I, we'll check, but it's about a degree every couple of minutes that the battery will cool down. So we're at 52 degrees right now, 50.7, and we'll let this run for a few minutes. But this just gives you an idea of just how hot this system is when you finish supercharging. So if you're doing this near a racetrack, uh, or you're, you know, going drag racing or doing something where you want to have the most performance out of the car, uh, this might make sense for you even though it's, uh, you already have track mode. Yeah. Okay, so we've been uh, charging for about 8 or 9 minutes now and we're down to 39 degrees Celsius, so more than a degree per minute cooling on the battery. And just about 30 seconds ago, Jesse plugged in the um, fan for the oil cooler. So that's going to help bring down the oil temperatures and the stator temperatures uh, even faster. Uh, so right now we've got the rear oil temperature at 44, and with the fan running that'll come down, come down even more. Uh, so you kind of want to start this process about 15 minutes or so before you're uh, going to leave the supercharger, uh, if you're going to the track or you're going drag racing. Alright, we're down to 20 degrees in the battery. Uh, 36 on the oil, and it's been another four or five minutes now uh, since we last checked in with you. Um, so this kind of just gives you an idea of how this system works. We're at 90% uh, on the battery now, charging at 11 kilowatts. So this is kind of when you'd be starting to think about unplugging and heading back to the to the track. So maybe we started a little bit early, or sorry, a little bit late on the, when we turned this module on. Depends what you want to do. If you're trying to do a long run, you probably want to try and go out with the battery as cold as possible. If you're going drag racing, you probably want to go with the battery around 38 degrees Celsius. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. And obviously with our dash, it displays the temperature and all those things so you can know uh, in real time and make those, make those decisions. So this is just another one of our products aimed at solving the cooling problem that the Model 3 has. Our oil cooler is one piece of the puzzle. This module is another piece of the puzzle. It, it helps with the off-track pre-cooling as well as the on-track cooling for those that don't have track mode. 
and we have more that we're working on that we'll be planning to release very soon as well for you hardcore track guys that are trying to do more than just one or two laps at a time at, at full tilt with, you know, as little power loss as possible. Uh, obviously, as the state of charge goes down, you lose some power, but it's our goal for, you know, for that to be the only reduction that you see uh, in the sessions that you want to run. So uh, it's tough for us. We want to talk about all the technical, and I would love to just nerd out with, with you guys about all the details and the struggles and the things that we had to go through, and I had to, you know, try to figure out, but... Um, it's tough. This is our livelihood now. This is, you know, how we make our living. And um, it's like a balance of how much we, we share and how much we kind of keep close to the, to the chest because, uh, you know, pe people will just, just uh, copy. If they, if they see a, a way to make money, they'll, they'll copy it. So um, I hope you guys understand that and that it's not uh, offensive or you think that, we'll, oh, we're, we're not sharing with the community. It's just now this is our, this is our living and... Um, yeah, it sucks when someone steals your, your ideas and stuff like that. So not that that would happen. We just have to be a little bit careful about it. So Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you thought this was, was kind of cool. We're really excited about it. I know Jesse and I were, like, super pumped when we got this all working. Um, and to be honest with you, we just wish it wasn't winter here so we could go to the track <laughs> and, and uh, do some more uh, of these long run tests. So we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.